guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I am making my advent calendar for you this year. Or I guess I should say this year's advent calendar that I'm making and we're gonna do a DIY. Oh, sorry. So I'm gonna show you some supplies and then we're gonna build a miniature. So I'll talk you through and sorry for the fan noise, but it's hot up here. All right, so. I purchased a set of these boxes, right? They came like this from Amazon. You can 100% make your own box. I wanted a specific size and honestly, I just didn't want to deal with it, but you can make your own box for this. You can also use the snack cups from the Dollar Tree, the plastic ones with the lid, but I wanted it big enough to hold a decent amount of candy or a gift card or something like that. This is for my niece, Sarah. So you're gonna start off with your boxes because you need those measurements. Then I have ooh, my hot glue gun. I think I had it on the hot setting instead of the cool temperature setting. Well, we'll just turn that off. Uh, glue gun, there's another thing you need, is a glue gun, um, some tools, scissors, these are paper cutting scissors, definitely want an X-Acto knife, these are what I use when I cut my paper or tape or whatever, I have a paper cutter and I have scrapbook paper for sure. Then for your adhesives, I have roller tape. I tried this from the Dollar Tree and it didn't really work very well, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Um, I ended up using Mod Podge or clear tacky glue. So the thing is, I'm using foam core from the Dollar Tree. And I sprayed this with that spray adhesive and tried to stick this paper and it wouldn't work. So then I went and painted it with Mod Podge. Stuck this paper to it, and guess what happened? It peels off, right? Like this paper just peels. So I'm saying if you're gonna use foam core, which worked out fine, just peel the paper off. If it gives you any like fight, just spray it with a little water. Just mist it, let it sit, and peel it off. This is foam, it's not gonna melt. It also helps keep it flatter if it doesn't have the paper. It's not tending to curl. So when I did it with just the paper, it tended to bow on me. It did not do that with just the foam. So that's how I started was I removed all of the paper from the foam. Now, what size pieces do you need? I will give you the measurements of what I did. My boxes are a little over four inches by four inches. And so what I did is I said, well, I want them three across and four down to make a book. I'm making a book if I didn't say that. So I did, I think it was 16 inches long, maybe 14 inches long and 17 inches wide to accommodate 24 or each page will have 12 books, 12 boxes. So that's why I say it depends on the size box. You can cut your own boxes, you can buy boxes, you can do whatever you wanna do. You just need to accommodate for the size of the boxes. So that was the first thing I did and I did my measurements. Then I cut out my foam core board. Now, if it's not overly large, mine is too big. This is the Dollar Tree vinyl but mine is bigger than 12 inches across. I will tell you, it sticks fairly well to the foam. See here, it, this just was a tester piece. If I wanted to, I would just spray that with water or just pick at it. I mean, it comes off very easily. Um, this sticks pretty good on here. I peeled it off, that's why it came off easier, but this vinyl sticks pretty well. So that is an option. On the finished product, what I'm gonna show you over here is the, um, I use white gift wrap on the inside. Okay, I can show you the size, but I have to make it for you on a smaller one because this thing is big. So I did craft paper on the outside and white paper on the inside, and it got a little wrinkly. It doesn't matter because that's all gonna be covered. Sorry, I'm shaking. 
So this, because if you just saw how big that was, that's why we're gonna start off. And I'm gonna show you how I built the book using smaller pieces. So what I did, oh, and I used some duct tape. What I ended up doing is having a drink of coffee. Let me see which one's bigger. Okay, this piece. So I would say these are the three pieces that I'm going to use for my two sides and my spine of the book. Because eventually you're gonna want it to stand up like this, correct? The, the measurement of this spine is the measurement of two books stacked on top of each other. So my spine is four and a half inches because my books, my boxes are four inches by two inches. So I did my spine at four and a half inches, which will accommodate two boxes butting up against each other. Now this is just for, I just had some scraps, so I cut it out but I'm gonna show you the important parts. So, this is your spine. These are your the front and the back of your book. You don't want them like this or you will not be able to open them up. So here is what I did. I took my spine and I laid it out. And then I took a piece of duct tape and please use whatever you got on hand. This is just what I happen to use and this is even a Dollar Tree paper cutter. And it did, it's not terrible. I mean, it's not the best, but for cutting stuff that could goo up your scissors, it's great. So, oops. Then what I did is I said, okay, well, I know I need a spacing of at least the width of the foam core. So I stood that up. And then I came down here and I said, okay, well that looks even. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. And now watch what'll happen. My book will open and close. So I leave that there. And then I'm coming over here. And y'all thank me for this mess because this took me a day to figure out. <laughs> I kept seeing these on, I'm just pushing down in between so the two pieces of tape touch each other. I kept seeing this on Pinterest, but it was in French. And I was like, well, that doesn't help me because I don't speak French. So I just kind of looked at pictures and came up with my own plan. But as my niece is a book lover, she is going to love this. Okay. So there is one half of the book. And you don't have to worry about it going past 90 degrees because your two boxes are gonna butt up against each other so it won't want to. So we'll do that again. And this is what I'm saying, like when I originally did it, I did all this process, put the tape down, and then it all lifted right off. And that really wasn't fun. And then what you can do, because this is all the same size, is go this direction. Just so you can see. You kind of want to do your best. Oh, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Of lining up. Oops. And Dollar Tree duct tape, you got some give. And there we go. And then, again, I'm going to... And the reason I'm putting duct tape to hold this, A... It keeps my spacing, but more importantly, these joints are gonna get a workout. So before I push it down, I just kinda go in here and tuck it in. You can use anything you want. This just happened to work in my world. And then you're trimming everything off. And you don't have to use a rotary cutter if you don't have one. Scissors work just as well. I just didn't wanna gum up my scissors. So. Right now, we have a book, and it can really go either direction. It doesn't matter. And you're going to see that this is our book, and then the boxes are going to be inside. Right? So fun. Then I measured it out, and I said, okay, well, I want to cover the outside first. 
right? So I'm like, okay, well this will work. So what I will do, now on mine, I had to use glue. I don't even know how much of this roller tape I would need to cover the size book that I'm doing with the size, <laughs> with the size, uh, you know, the box size that I'm doing. But for a little one like this, and if you use like two inch size books and or little boxes instead of the four inch ones, then you would, it would be easier on you. So this doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be stuck down. And there you go. Now watch. And then you just kind of want to give yourself that crease in there just to give you the extra fold that you need. Right? So we still have this book that's folding in half. Um, and then what I did is I went in here and said, okay, well, let's fold you. And again, this isn't going to be perfect, but it's going to be a good descriptor of what I did on the big box. So I'm just putting some tape down, folding my corner in. Obviously, I did this much neater on the finished product. And then I put the tape on the paper because I want to make sure my ends are, and I did tape it. I did this exact process with the big book. I used the tape because I had it glued down and I was going to glue down again on the inside. So I wasn't overly concerned. So I went around and I see on that one I decided because this was short, I just put the glue up here. It doesn't matter because it's going to be all covered here in a second. And then we're going to go here and this makes, I mean these aren't real neat because I'm hurrying here, but you got your good corners. Now what I need to do is trim this down. So I'm going to say probably need a pen for this because I don't want to measure. You know the whole saying measure once, once cut twice. Well, I'm failing at that right this second. But it's okay. What we need is a nice even, and it doesn't even have to be perfect on this step because I'll show you in a second why. When, well, I can tell you and then I can show you, but when we put the, um, I'm gonna glue ribbon around it. I'm not gonna glue it for you because that'll just be wasteful, but I will show you how I glue it down to cover the edges. Again, you don't need all these fancy things. Scissors will work just fine. I'm just gonna go here. And again, this is just me kind of doing this. If I if this was gonna be a useful project, I would do it better, but it's not. This is just all right. I'm gonna stand up for this little part. And then you put that on the inside. Rub it here, always crease. You really wanna do your creases. Now, because it's it's gonna buckle because I didn't glue it, but for this purposes, that's fine. And that is the book. So if you had boxes. Then what I did is I glued, well, I, actually I would have done this before I put the inside cover, but I glued some ribbon. So if I did it like that, I would just glue the ribbon through the center. And then on mine, I will show you, I did ribbon around the edges, but you want it on the inside. So when you pull it together, you can tie it. You can also attach it on the outside if you want to pull it together and tie it. And I will show you. So that is the miniature of everything I did today. Right, and then we need to get to the good part. Let's skip to the good part. Um, I also used, this is Dollar Tree ribbon, and I'll keep it handy because we may want it again. Um, I don't need these pieces because they are 
I am done building. Now we're on to decorating. Um, we will need this tape. This one's dead, so I'm gonna get out a new one. We do need roll-on tape, or you can use glue or whatever. I used this to cut the foam core board and it worked perfect. I used a lighter to burn the edges of the um, ribbon. This is what I use to cut paper and goofy stuff that I don't want my scissors ruined with. And you saw what I used that for. And I put my glue and adhesive away. Now, I also have out here washi tape. And I will show you what the washi tape was for. Mm. Guys, I love coffee. All right. So those ribbon ties that I was saying, it's gonna go here to tie the book together. I'm gonna show you the inside real quick. Because I already did the inside. This is the inside of the book scene. So what I'm gonna do now is we are gonna do, I need to make some room. Give me one second. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, take the paper cutter out and I have scrapbook paper. Now I've already kind of chosen what I want on the front of the book, which is going to be this, these two pages right here. I want this on the front of the book. So, because I have some, I'm gonna do some more decorating, but it's gonna go like that. So I want this on the front and I don't need to do that yet. So we're gonna cut the four inch squares. Um, I already cut a few, but I don't know 100% yet what I'm doing with all of these colors. So let's, let's do that because when we get to the decorating portion and I have not determined yet letter or numbers, if I'm even gonna do numbers, but for right now, I'm gonna make a bunch of four by four, uh, four inch by four inch squares to glue onto the lids of the boxes to decorate them. So I'm just going through here and picking out some fun uh, paper. I got this, I got this book at Hobby Lobby. It was regularly $21 and I got it for like 11 or something. Well, that's fun. And I'm just trying to cut a variety. Look at that one, guys. That could be fun on the front too or on the side. Oh no, now I have options. Oh no. And oh, look at that one with the tiny little. I really like this set of um, paper. Oh, we need that. There's a lot of green in here, which I love green. I'm not sure if my girl loves green, so I'm trying to, I mean, I know she doesn't dislike green, but. And then there's this paper. So I'm trying to see if I can get, obviously I'm not gonna get 24 different ones, but if I can get 24 that look a little different, that would be fun. Ah, it's all right. And I think I already brought Santa out. Okay, so let's see what we can come up with with this paper. Now, I wouldn't wanna cut too terribly many pieces at one time, but I can cut a couple. So let's see here. And then I'll leave these for the book fronts and maybe the back of the book. So we need 24, 23, 22, because I've already done two boxes. So what I'm gonna do is just cut some paper and I will show you one or two and then I will speed this up. So if you have a paper cutter, you know how this works. If you don't, you put it in and from here to this first line is one inch. And then you have your measurements up here. And I know I want four inch, four inch cuts, right? I know that I want that. So I will probably do four inch cuts 
on all of them. And then I will use the remainder of this paper at another time. You normally don't have to use both of the blades, but fun fact, this is 12 inches long and this paper is 12 inches long, so it's a hard. So right now I'm gonna do two. Um, I haven't decided, and there's going to be a couple added additives to this, additives, add-ons later, just because I didn't have all the materials. I don't have the filler for it yet. Just so you know, you'll get, out of one four-inch strip, you will get enough for, you know, squares. That's why I'm not terribly concerned with doing a hundred, hundred different patterns, but we'll do one strip of these three. Now, when you're cutting, you want to just make sure that whatever design, if it's, you know, something that you want in a specific place, I wouldn't go cutting things in bulk because you won't see each page. But I'm okay, for that, for now, we've cut enough to place on our boxes. And I think I have 22 boxes here, but I have two over there. So that's four, so I'll need 20. Okay, that's gonna be 24 boxes. Normally I do a 25 day advent calendar, but it's a book. Now I know when I build this box that this is the front and I want it vertical. I want, oops, I'm sorry. I know I want it this direction. So what I do, I have a piece of paper. This is why I'm using sticky tape for this because it's perfect. And this is definitely something I want her to use this year, but I highly doubt we'll keep it, you know, for other years because I make her a new one every year. And I just put it on there. So it's just under, so the lid is four, a little over four inches by four inches. And so that just covers, and it's on there really well. This is the reason I like to put, and I'll show you one more, and then again, we'll speed up. But this is why I like to put it on the paper, because um, then I don't overrun it. And then I just do a little X in the middle. And I got these tape rollers, these specific ones, I got at Walmart four packs for, a four pack for $8 or something. So I'll show you what it will look like. So that is on here, right? Then these boxes I'm building. So if you make your own boxes with your Cricut, which you absolutely can, you just want to put the decor. And again, you don't even have to put the decoration on first. You don't have to do anything. But I'm putting the decorations on first because it's just easier. So then I get all of that up in here because I will have to build all these boxes. So I'm just trying to do as much of the steps as I can. And on this one, it's a little snug on the inside. And then over here. And it's a nice hold. So in the book, I will assume she's gonna lay it down to open it, to open each day, and then she just has to reach in and open the box. And whatever her little thing is, is gonna be inside. So there, and then I will do is put numbers probably or more stickers or decorate the tops. I just don't have all of that quite yet. Um, but I will have it. I'm playing with my glue gun over here. Ah. Because eventually I'm gonna need the glue gun to um, put this all together. So I'll show you one more how I put the box together. If you order them on Amazon, I can put the link down below. But I just looked up box advent boxes 
Also, I will tell you, fun fact, on Amazon, they sell advent boxes already decorated that you can just glue together or stack them up however you want. So you don't even have to go to all of this steps in order to um, make an advent box. You can just order them, I think it's $10, and you get 25 boxes, and you can stack them and glue them together, make a tower, and done and done. So there is that. So I have two done. I'm going to cover the rest of all of these. And then we're going to get to decorating the box. So I will be back in a moment. All right. So we have all the boxes covered. We're going to work on the cover right now of our book. Oh, I really want to use these polka dots, I think, for the front. So let's see how this would look on the front. Oh, I like that a lot. So now if you can see the paper, I'm just trying to say, okay, well, how am I going to lay this out evenly? It's not big enough to cover the whole front, and that is okay. Right, but I need, I need to have it, so the front of the book, and then this will just be the bottom piece. And what I would like to do is use the whole, this whole piece. So I just need to trim this piece. I marked it with my pen. We'll line up that mark on the paper cutter and we'll go all the way across like that. Because what we're gonna do is tape this here. We're gonna tape this here, right? And then we're gonna go across it with a piece, maybe some glitter, I don't know, maybe navy blue. Oh, is this upside down? Watch the directions of your paper, guys. Yeah, that was upside down. The, I don't know if you can see, but the bows are blue. So, again with the tape. I will tell you I'm going through a lot of this tape, but I don't, I'm not mad about it. I'm just letting you know that a four pack is probably what I would need to do this size book again and to show you guys. Because I used almost the whole one taping the book together okay so I'm just gonna eyeball it if it's not perfect it's okay first of all we don't strive for perfection and second of all there's gonna be like some stuff on here right there'll be things de decorations on the front I may even put like some greenery we'll see I mean, it's September, it's August. I'm not even in September yet, guys. So I feel like it's early, but I wanted it, if you people want to make one for your family or somebody, you have plenty of time to collect the materials. So then I'm just gonna lean that up like that. Now, done and done here is the one thing i'm using washi tape across here i wish i had a better view for you guys i'm using washi tape but it has to stick for some time so i'm just gonna go across with this tape and then i'm gonna take the plain blue and I think this blue is a good accent. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go right here. And look at that. Now I need to grab something real quick, hold. All right, I just have a scraper here, but what this scraper will do, you can use a credit card, a bank card, a gift card, but it helps you rip your washi tape nice and straight so i just lay it here and do that 
Now, look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love it. I think it looks great on the front. I also have this kit that I purchased, but I realized it wasn't going to be enough paper. Um, what I would like to do on the end is, I'm just measuring here, laying it out, I guess for the front or the back and actually I'm not going to do the back, but for this side here, I just need, where did I put it? I just need also to do the same thing. And since they're both on the front of the book, and this is going to be four inches wide because that is how wide I made, well, I made the back four and a half, but it will be four inches wide over here. And then I want one more piece of that. Right, because who doesn't want one more piece of that? I'm just giving out the scrap paper. Guys, I don't have a big enough craft space for all of this. That's okay. Oh, I love that too. Maybe I should use that for the end of the book. Yeah, let's use that. We're just gonna get crazy here. Now, right side up, make sure this is directional print. I know that my spine is four inches. Oops. Oh no. I didn't quite cut it through, but that's why we have scissors. And I will get over here and show you. So same thing I did on the front. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to have this here, but I want to line it up as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect again. And let me just tell you, my niece just appreciates this. This is not, okay. This is not an unappreciated gift. And if it's not perfect, she doesn't care. So we'll just put that right here. Right, perfect. And then we'll put the tape on the back of this piece. I cannot wait to fill this up. That's what I'm excited about. And she'll love it no matter what and what I put in it. Right, right. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. Ooh. There we go. And then same, same, a little piece of tape here. I just am using the tape to just give this washi the best chance to stick that it can get. And then I go over here and over here. Ha ha! Guys, that is, that is the extent. And then decorate. I may put something on the back. We'll see. But, I mean, I've now made my book. Now, in this other set of paper that I ordered, this kit, it came with stickers. This is also very thick cardstock because it's double-sided and it was going to be a little too thick, I think. But I want to put Merry Christmas, I think, on the front. Or maybe I'll go buy a Christmas thing. I mean, this is not decorated yet. I may go buy a big sticker or print one. So I don't have to deal with that. Although, I could probably do it like I would weed my my um when I'm doing cricketing right and use it I just didn't want to have to deal with 
is this stickers? Maybe this is not even stickers. Maybe it's just, no, you know, that's stickers. It's just cardstock sticker. Oh, sorry, my head's in your way. I'm trying to see if I can pull out the, oh yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but we're gonna try. What the heck? But what I need is a piece of white paper. Because I don't know, what do you think? How will that look on that? You think I need a white label maybe? All right, I'll work on that. Because I'm gonna have to lay out all these pieces, but these are fun stickers that I can use to decorate. I can use any sticker that I want to decorate the front. So let's get to putting the pages of the book on the inside. The inside is also complete for now. So here is my plan of attack. And you guys, I'm just putting hot glue in my glue gun here. This is the, oh, I need to cut two more. Hold on, I gotta cut two more pieces of uh, cardstock. All right, I got all the boxes put together over here. So what I'm gonna start doing is laying out my pattern, if you will. I mean, it's not really a pattern. I'm just putting these how I want them to go on this side. So put that one over here. That one can go here. We'll do that one there. So four. Four here and we'll do four here. So that's how they're gonna go on this side. So they're all gonna be very close together and they're gonna be glued down like this. So what I'm gonna do is glue them together in a row like that, flip it over, glue the bottom, and then push it down. So I can show you if I do it one at a time, it may not all fit. So I'll show you one row and then I will glue it all together, but I need more space. People, I need more space. So I'm just putting some glue. Ah. Oh, I got glue where it should. Oh, okay, that's hot. Don't touch the glue. Now, the good thing is I'm gonna be doing, um, ouch, stickers on top so I can fix that little mess I just made um, on this one. Okay, let's try this again. This glue gun is hot today. So we got that there. I'm gonna do the glue over here. Put this one here because I want them straight and together. And then the last one will be right here. Right? And that's going to go right there. Now what I need to do is a roll of glue on the bottom and then flip it over. And this glue is pretty hot currently, so it will, it'll take a minute to cool. I need to get a new glue gun, guys. Here we go. But I really want it on here good. Okay. And then I'm gonna turn it over and it's gonna go right here and push it down. And then I'm gonna continue on this side, same process, and I will be back. 
All right, guys, we are done for now. It is obviously not complete. I still want to decorate it, but I just want to bring you along for the basics of this because um, I need to do some cricketing and some things. And of course, I will show you the end result, but I am loving it. Now, I did make a boo-boo here. We don't care. It's fine. So here's the ribbon that's holding it together. I'm just trying to get you the best angles I can. And that's the top of the book. I just overlapped a little bit on the bottom. Not a big deal. And I will give you a couple things. <laughs> Tell me this is not fabulous. One thing I need to do is I never counted on how difficult it was gonna be to open. So what I think I'm gonna do is attach a tab here, like a piece of ribbon that goes under the flap and up and around and sticks out and then she can pull it open and won't have to fuss with it. But I can't even get it all in one shot, guys. I am, I am obsessed. I am so happy how this turned out. And I hope you are too. All right, stick around. I will post updates on the Facebook group when I decorate it and figure out the rest. But this is the basics of how I'm making it. Hope you like it.